In this video, we are going to make corn-inspired table settings, including a napkin ring, wine charm, and coaster. Let's review the supplies and tools you'll need and look for the icons in the corner to see which supplies go with which project. Pony beads, glass beads, extra small glass beads, thin cotton cord, thick cotton cord, wire, pliers, needles, self-adhesive coasters, work bowl, ruler, scissors, and plastic cups. Step one, cut the cotton cord. Spool out about six feet of thin cotton cord. I like to wrap it around a ruler to measure it out. Step two, add and string beads. Randomly add seven beads to your cord. You'll see that I have a main color, yellow, and two accent colors, black and white. When done, center your beads and add another seven. The ratio that I'm using is about five yellows to one black to one white. Once you have 14 beads, split them up into two groups of seven. Take one end of the string and feed it through seven beads and pull to make two rows. If your beads aren't centered on the cord, now is the time to fix them. Keep adding rows of seven until you have 14 different rows. Step three, close the ring. Flip the beads onto themselves and feed both ends of the string into the first row of beads in order to create a complete ring. Pull the string tight and create a double knot on each side to prevent the beads from becoming undone. Then cut the ends, leaving a little bit of extra that you can hide into the next row of beads. Step one, cut and unthread the cotton cord. Cut about 13 inches of cotton cord and begin unthreading it by holding one end tight and spinning it in the opposite direction of its weave. Then slowly separate the cord into three thinner strings. Be careful not to tangle it up. Step two, tie the string. Lay two strings perpendicular to each other and tie knots starting with the one underneath. Then lay the two strings on top of the third and tie one more knot to create one big knot. Match the ends up and trim so that they are all the same length. Step three, add beads. Take a glass bead and thread it with your first string. To get the other five strings through, you'll need to use a needle. As you add strings to the bead, it will get harder and harder to pull through. That's why I like to use a pair of pliers to help. For the last bead, you might have to switch to a smaller embroidery needle in order to get it through. Adding the next batch of beads will be much easier. Thread your regular needle with two strings and feed in 12 random beads following a similar ratio used with the napkin ring. Repeat this step with the two other sets of strings. On the third set, add a 13th bead. Then take your needles and run all the strings through this final bead, just like we did with the first. Step four, shape the wire. Cut off about four inches of wire and then use needle nosed pliers to shape one end into a swirl. Repeat the same swirl shape on the other end, making sure you are swirling back towards, not away from the other end. Then gently curve the wire into a U shape so that the ends overlap each other while leaving about a quarter inch of space between the two. Take your wine charm and tie a knot around the wire with the string. Make sure it is tight and then trim off the excess. 
To use the charm is as simple as slipping it on and turning. Step 1. Add the cord. Remove the protective sticker from your coaster to expose the self-adhesive. Then begin to uncoil your thick cotton cord into a swirl pattern, leaving about 1 8 of an inch spacing between the swirls. I like to take the cord directly from the spool. In the end, we will use about 5 feet of cord for this 4 inch diameter coaster. If you can't find self-adhesive coasters, you can still achieve the same effect with a hot glue gun. It'll just take a little longer. When you get to the end of your swirl, make sure you wrap all around the edges. Trim the cord on an angle with the scissors between the coaster and the cord so that the rough edge can be pressed into the adhesive. Step 2. Add beads. Now we're going to make a mixture of beads. I'm putting in a lot of yellow with some white and black to mimic the color patterns of our napkin ring and wine charm. When you're done adding your beads, carefully shake the mixture so that you get a nice, even blend. Place your coaster in a work bowl and carefully pour the bead mixture over it. Use your hands to spread the beads out and make sure there are no empty spots. Once the coaster is sufficiently covered, flip it on its side to shake off any excess beads. You can save your bead mixture for another coaster or project. Step 3. Glue. Finally, take some clear drying glue and fill in the beads between the swirls. This is going to set them in place so that they don't fall out. You can even add some glue to the edge of the coil to keep it from fraying. And here we have our fold table setting. Because corn comes in a variety of colors, you can make a version for each guest at your dinner. It's a beautiful way to make each seat unique and a practical way to keep track of everyone's drink.